Hello, uh, today I'm going to explain why you don't need to fill in your holes in Animal Crossing. There's really no reason to fill in your holes, you know, I'm just talking about- Hello, Bob. I'm just talking about your standard hole. There's not really a reason you, f you need to fill it in. And let me show you why. So we come to this plot of flowers. Now, this is already set up for breeding, but just imagine like you were making holes, you were trying to set up a breeding area, and you have all these extra holes. And I mean, you don't want to take the time to close them, because that will just take unnecessary amount of time. So, what you can do is just don't fill them in. And then, the next day, they will be filled in, magically. They auto-fill uh, when your day resets. So now I will show you What this looks like when the holes have auto filled so you, as you can see it is July 10th And now I'm going to really quickly change the date to July 11th Well, welcome back. So now it is July 11th, and let's go check on our holes. Boom. Holes are magically gone. There's no need to spend time filling them in. It just isn't. Um, unless, obviously, if you're decorating or something and you need the holes filled in right away. But the way I play Animal Crossing is that I play every day, you know, pretty th thoroughly, and then I just change the date when I get bored. So... I'm not really time skipping or time traveling big chunks of time. I'm just time traveling one day at a time. So this method of not filling in my holes really is to my advantage and anyone else who plays the way I do because you're moving so quickly that you don't even, it doesn't really matter if the holes are filled in or not. The game will just fill them in the next day. So that's just a little pro tip I have if you're playing Animal Crossing and you're sick of filling in your holes. Hope you enjoy this little tip video I made, and let me know if you liked it. Thanks for watching.